Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Medieval. Last time, we did the sleepy little village, we got the Shadow Artifact, and with the Shadow Artifact, we can return to the Enchanted Earth. We also ended up getting an axe, and I think that was about it. It's been a little bit since I've recorded, so I don't remember. And I didn't double-check to see what I previously did. But we can finally finish up the Enchanted Earth. I wonder which is better, the longbow or the spear. Oh, well, longbow seems to do good against the toads. Ah, toads! Well, it kills them in one hit, so that's good. I don't remember... Oh, the shadow artifact. I can... Damn toads. Yep, just gotta remember what to do. Yeah, like I said, it's been like a week since I recorded this. Just been doing other stuff. Haven't had time. The, oh, I gotta get the, um, the key. That's right. I don't like these damn frogs. Actually, I don't like the enemies in this little period because they're all fucking ranged. Although they die in like one hit, so that's good. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Did I change this? Is this going to be correct? Should be fine. Uh, I don't think it'll matter. I have my Elgato set up to record from an iPad. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I don't know, though. I didn't even bother to check. Damn it. I don't think it'll make I don't think it's going to matter. If it does, my bad. I will change it after this episode is over. That is the fastest I have ever done that. Dick. Yeah, I was recording some Unleash the Light. Which, looking back at Save the Light LP, I think Unleash the Light isn't going to... It's going to, I think, be longer simply because there are less worlds, but... There are... M the worlds are shorter, but there are more levels per world, I think. Or, the levels are shorter. I don't know. It's shorter overall, it looks like, but... Die. I will throw my axe. I was going to say spear, but this is not a spear. This is indeed an axe. And this is not... The way forward. I need to go over y'all. And then remember that this water is deep enough for me to die because skeletons can't swim. But we can use the shadow artifact. We have all of these runes. Sir Dan, you must take the Shadow Demon Talisman. It is an unholy relic, but it may allow you to progress through Shadow Demon territory. 
So we have all these runes, and we have this back here. Basically, you just want to step on these in a certain order, and you will know that you did it correctly. I did it wrong. It is the other way, I do believe. It should be this. This. Nope. Alright, then yeah, it's yoink, 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 and yoink. Yeah, you just want to step on them in a certain order. If you do the order wrong, it resets. It's super easy to figure out. Well, that's metal. But we got the Shadow Talisman. And our uh, Holy Grail. No, not Holy Grail. Our Chalice is here. It's not a holy grail. Give us full health, which is nice. What have you done? Once again, the shadow demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. The single most destructive and wretched creatures in the history of the world, and you've given them an early parole. Man, I hope this isn't. I need to hop in and change for the next episode. I don't think it matters, but. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Shut up. So we need a star rune. I've already talked to you. Shut up. But now that the shadow demons are here, we actually have things to kill for our chalice. And they are kind of a pain. I don't know what the best weapon for dealing with them is. I don't want to use up all my health, which I am currently doing. So I am going to... Let's try... The Magical Brault Sword. It doesn't seem to do any more damage than the axe does. But I think it has a better arc. These guys, however, are going to get the business... Ah, oh, how much damage does the spear do? Oh, the spear one-hits these guys. So the spear does more damage than the bow, but the bow probably has better range and all that fun stuff. We need a star rune. Head this way to the health thingy to top off as much of my health as I can. Fucking not give me full health. But anyway, star rune. We need a star rune, and we can finally. We have the shadow rune, or the shadow talisman, and usually if you come over here, you get shot by gargoyle laser beams. Well, now we won't get shot by gargoyle laser beams. But we do get 
the uh, Belfry Gargoyles do show up. Yeah. I will throw spears at you all day long. I am the man that fucking died. But, behold the power of the Holy Grail. I am Daniel Fortescue. I am the Lancer of the Seventh Holy Grail War. Oh god, there goes my shield. I think I mentioned it in another video, but I'm pretty sure Dan would probably be eligible for pretty much every cavalry class, technically. From a uh, fate. Saber, Lancer, Archer, Rider, probably. I'm sure he can ride a horse. And done. Trophy earned. Demolished the demons. Yay, we did a thing. Where's my axe? Yeah, definitely think he would be eligible for the cavalry classes. I'm trying to think if he'd be eligible for anything else. But cavalry classes, definitely. Saber, Lancer, Archer, and Rider. Maybe Berserker? I don't know. Hmm. If you have any comments on that, or if you have any uh, ideas for that, let me know. I'd like to hear what you have to say. They are giving me a lot of stuff to give me health, so that makes me think that shit's gonna go down. And sprint out of there at full speed. Oh, I am Daniel Fortescue. I am the most powerful man on the planet. I finally figured out where that voice I do comes from. I'm doing like a weird Calculon Zap Brannigan combination, and I love it because I love Zap Brannigan and Calculon. I am Daniel Fortescue. I will now place the star rune. Oh, wait. No, I can't leave. There's got to be people to kill. I'm, I don't have everything for the chalice. There's got to be more enemies. Uh, there's got to be some more shadow demons. Ah, there you are. Excuse me, sir. I have to murder you so that I may recover my magical cup. I will drink my mead, although I don't like mead. Actually, mead is quite delicious. Never had mead. I recommend mead. Technically, mead is wine, but that's not a bad thing. Mead is pretty damn good. Go ahead and chant my sword. Okay. Bye. Stuff. Now we can go get our chalice. Which is over here somewhere, I think? Where's the, where's the chalice at again? Oh, yeah, back this way. The other thing I think you can do with I, I like, I hesitated. The other thing I think you can do with the bow is you can light the arrows on fire somehow. All right, we'll get our chalice and we will get the fudge out. We can go get whatever our new uh, thing is going to be from the throne of heroes, all of heroes. Alright. We got all the little, pretty little artifacts we need. Are we gonna get a new weapon, I wonder? Or is it gonna give us... Because so far we've been getting weapons every time we've come back. 
Whereas originally, we would get a weapon and then like an item and then a weapon and... That was the dude we talked to last time. Ah, we're gonna get an item from uh, Chiron. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. You fancy a little gamble, like? Ooh, we got the flaming longbow. Yay! Now we got a flaming longbow. Ready, aim, fire. Eh, jokes. Well, we did get a weapon. I'm looking forward to getting that shield and the pretty blue sword that this guy down here has. All right, I'm actually going to end. This is going to be a shorty episode because uh, I am going to record a couple more episodes of this, but I want to make sure that um, me having my Elgato set to my iPad settings doesn't fuck anything up. This episode might be weird in its quality and all that fun shit, but anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, take it easy, and have a good one. Later.